Hi, I'm Krista Harden, and I'm so glad that you joined us as we journey through how to love a type two, whether you're a two watching or somebody who identifies with having a partner who's high in that two range, we know of twos to be givers and helpers. And I love to call the two the giver because I do think there's a sense of sacrificial giving of a two that is just glorious. And I think this of all the heart types that it's just a marvel to see how they can connect with us and feel the depths of what we're feeling sometimes with us not even saying a word. So I know you get this if you're in that heart space. I know you get this if you're partnered with somebody there, but I just really want to welcome you into understanding that when twos are in relationship, that can be a beautiful gift as we were just saying, but it can also feel sometimes like twos are pushing their way in, using their gifts manipulatively or being seductive, clingy, flattering in order to get what they want. And it can feel very overwhelming to a partner of a two and that part partner may withdraw and we get into that anxious and withdrawler cycle, um, or it can look so many different nuanced ways, depending on you, your cultural overlays, your gender overlays, you name it. Generationally, you guys are dealing with a myriad of factors, but today I want to give you a few helpful tips for relating with a two, because I know it's going to help you so much. If you understand that at the root twos are trying to love and serve, but they deeply fear rejection. And they don't always have a capacity to process that all out unless you're giving them a nice audience for them to verbally process because they're feelings based. Sometimes they don't always get to that space of critical thinking. And if you're a two watching, that's a really good space for you to verbally process so you can get in there and have some beautiful thoughts. I've seen so many twos that have really advanced thinking because they've done that work. I also know though that that can be a stumbling block. So make sure you get your verbally processing in with a therapist, a helper, your spouse, a friend, probably lots of different places because you have a lot of processing to do as a two. But I I also want to just invite you to that in your own car, in your own home with friends, um, and also to that spouse of a two to really allow them that space and time to do just that, to share with you, for you just to be a listener, just grab your tea. I have my tea here and just enjoy that thought of, you know, let me just invite you to share and to love quality time with the people they care about. And if you come towards them with thoughts and thinking or just your gut instincts, you might miss this chance to connect heart to heart. So I invite those who are very fast paced, uh, moving around the two or stuck in their heads to take a deep breath to enter the space with your two, just truly Oh, draw in a deep breath and connect. it really brings you back down to your heart. If you're up here like me in your head a lot, or if you're in that body space trying to move a lot, just ah, a side to kind of ground you in the heart space and allow yourself to just be with your two. That's what they long for more than anything. Because like I said, there's these threads of rejection that they can walk through and they feel like oh my gosh, I'm not safe unless I've been giving. So you're thinking, why are you giving so much or giving to manipulate? And they may very well be thinking, if I'm not generous and helpful, you're going to leave. So it's important that you know that they need to be given words of affirmation and actions to show they're still worthy and you still love them and you're not going anywhere. And not just tell, but like in the writing world, we say, show, don't tell. So let them see how much you love them. Don't criticize them. Don't condemn them, but love them and help them to know that they're valued and help them to know that they're valued on the inside. I hear from a lot of twos that they feel like they're valued as a trophy or as something to uh, be, you know, be jeweled, Taylor Swift lingo. Um, but it's actually so much deeper when they feel loved for who they are are for their intelligence, for their, uh, their gifts of artfulness. Um, and for you to be able to share that costs you very little to be able to just share. I love you. I love this about you. I'm proud of you, but also know if you're a two or if you're with a two that their vice of pride and seduction and flattery can take you guys to unhealthy places. So it's really important if you're a two that you try to remember you're not better than anyone else and that everyone is just as beloved. Uh, you don't sit at God 
God's right hand exclusively. So you can come back, set some boundaries and let God do the work instead of feeling like I have to give and serve because nobody else will do it. Understand that you are made for Sabbath and for rest also. And that is a huge positioning for you to actually be present for your spouse who likely would spend a bit more time with you uh, if things shifted in that way where you were able to balance your giving. So be encouraged. You can still give. It's still your gift, but set some boundaries. Say some more no's. Tell people you need to think about it. Spend some time in prayer and verbal processing before you say yes and understand that there are lots of others out there who could step up to the plate so that you could get the rest you deserve. So then you're not as pushy and you can just say, oh, I get my self-care. I know that I'm beloved. I have thought this through. I have experienced it. I am more attractive to my people now because they don't push as hard and I'm humble. Uh, humility is the virtue of the two. So come in with some humility, come in with that deep, great love of giving, but also restful rhythms and let your spouse or partner choose you as you are and let them choose you to, to love you in their way. Cause not everybody has that same gift. They have other gifts. So one last tip for you, if you are a two is to process ah, this is the way they love me and I'm going to let that sink in and I'm going to savor that. And if you are that spouse or partner of a two, make sure you do find ways to show them. And they may even like to save messages from you so that they can go back to look to them. If you guys need more information on twos, I've got lots of podcasts for you on Apple or Spotify. You can find more about the two at enneagramandmarriage.com or my Instagram. But you can also grab the deeper dive on twos and relationships that you see here in the notes. And I'm so glad because I have gone into such depths so that you can get to know the two even farther. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in.